Hello, this is Larry Hook, superintendent of schools. As many of you are aware, a little over a month ago, the superintendents from Warren County uh, met to discuss ways to be, uh, to start this school year and to be able to keep as many kids in school, in person as possible. The big hurdle was the number of students that were being quarantined as a as a result of the direct exposure to someone who tested positive for COVID-19. The superintendents presented a very uh, simple program to Governor Mike DeWine and uh, Dr. Vanderhoff from the Ohio Department of Health seeking approval for our pilot program. Fast forward a little over a month later the Ohio Department of Health, along with their epidemiologists, have made quite a few uh, additional requirements into the protocols that were needed to have an alternative pilot program. And so here we are. So beginning this week, Springboro School students will have an alternative to the current quarantine guidelines. In collaboration with the Ohio Department of Health and the Warren County Department of Health, Springboro Schools is participating in an alternative quarantine pilot program. The testing program will allow asymptomatic direct contacts to remain in school if they receive two negative rapid antigen tests and wear a multi-layered surgical style mask, which will be provided similar to this one, while inside the school during their quarantine period. This will be implemented beginning Friday, October 1 for grades 7 through 12 and Monday, October 11th for grades K through 6. Now this pilot only applies to students in grades K through 12 and is strictly an opt-in voluntary program. If your student is never deemed a direct contact in school, this alternative quarantine pilot program would never even apply to you. So, the pilot program eligibility. First, the student must meet the criteria to be eligible for the program. That is simply, one, the student does not have COVID-19 symptoms, and two, the student meets the definition of a direct contact that we use in Warren County, which is three feet, within three feet, for a period of 15 minutes or, or more to a person that has tested positive for COVID-19. The pilot program requirements are as follows. The pilot only applies to those students who are direct contacts due to exposure at school and not through a community exposure or school-sponsored activity exposure, or from home. Parents and caregivers must sign a consent opt-in agreement and agree to only use the tests that are provided in the pilot, which are the Abbott Binex Now at-home test kits that will look just like the one I'm holding up here. This is a telehealth um, test and no tests outside of the ones that we provide will be accepted. In other words, primary care physicians, etc., uh, cannot be used for this study. Any student participating in the pilot must wear the multi-layered surgical mask that I showed earlier for the entire duration of the alternative quarantine period, which typically is about seven days. On day eight, Following the last day of exposure, the student defaults to their school's masking policy. If your student has a mask exemption or is medically unable to wear a mask, the student would not be eligible for the pilot unless the mask exemption is rescinded. While in the pilot program and under quarantine, students could have a separate lunch location to maintain social distancing and are not eligible to participate in athletics or extracurricular uh, per the Ohio Department of Health. Families whose students have been identified as a direct contact in school 
will have the option to participate in the pilot to stay in school, or they may choose to quarantine for 10 days at home, as been the case for the last year. A district nurse will initially contact you with the details if your student is deemed a direct contact. Springboro Schools has hired a registered nurse thanks to the generosity of the Warren County Commissioners. This RN will be working in the Educare building on the third floor. This RN will work closely with Springboro Schools District Nurse Bronwyn Patterson and our school building nurses. We are thankful to be a part of this program that will provide data that can potentially help update, revise, and maybe even eliminate the quarantine guidance throughout the state of Ohio and for schools across this nation. Thank you, God bless, and go Panthers.